What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome in everybody else that's just coming across my channel. You enjoy my Gabby mouth. You enjoy the readings. And you smash the button. Just saying. Um, I got a kind of a spicy message, um, you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna. I already picked out a deck. Um, whew. You know, some of the channelings I don't put out. I just just being keeping a hundred with you guys. Some of the channelings I do not put out because. Um, I, I probably should and do like an 18 plus disclaimer on it. I probably should, but some of them don't because they're very, very, very spicy. Just saying. <laughs> and this one's spicy, but it's not like crazy. But of course, all my videos, you're, you're supposed to be 18 plus viewing them. Just saying. So I hope you are 18 plus viewing these. Just saying. Because you'll need to be with this one. Hold on to the seat of your pants. Just saying. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay, free general reading, uh, cast through Sag, everybody in between. Um, it's very important to only take the messages that resonate with you. So, um, oh, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. I just want to say that too. Um, I appreciate all the love and support. I truly, truly, truly do from the bottom of my heart chakra. I just do. Thank you guys. Um, if you'd love, um, I was going to tell you guys, I'm doing open for personals right now. They're $100 for, for 15 minutes. If you'd like to do um, do a personal, you have to text me. My number's in the description box below because we have to set up a time um, to for appointment time because I still have some slots open, but they're filling up. So um, if you're interested, you got to text me, just saying. Okay, so um, the channel I received was um, um, someone is making huge plans. I heard air sign energy, um, making huge plans. They know exactly who they want to be with and ask out, and they are making huge strides to towards that goal. Is what I heard. Um, so you plug it in, how resonates? Air sign energy. Holy crap! Getting your stuff together, air sign energy. You can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I heard you know exactly who you want to ask out on a date. You want to know exactly who you want to ask out. And you're about to make huge strides towards um, going towards that goal. Well, you get it, girl, or you get it, boy. You go with your bad self. I don't know if it's a if you're a dude or a chick, but that's how it. Yes, you go. So huge strides. So you know that could be working out three times a week, getting your body right. It could be um, eating healthier. It could be uh, positive affirmations into the universe. Um, getting your confidence level up. Maybe it's saving money. Uh, for some, it could be one or plus, one or more of those things. You plug it in, how it resonates, but you know exactly who the hell you about to ask out. Just saying, just saying. And you about to do it. Well, you go with your bad self. Oh, oh. Just saying. Holy crap, what I do? Okay, yeah, no. You go with your bad self. Just saying. Um... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy in the house. You could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your owl, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter. I'm going to use um, Island Time Wellness. There's a masculine air sign that is very, very, very loyal. Very loyal. But they like they like romance and rough sex. And they know someone that is exactly like them. <laughs> oh, man. Well, okay. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, air sign? Uh, you can, uh, you're a masculine Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, you can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Mid, Hayward, Jupiter. Uh, <laughs> it's been like forever since I've had sex. So, you know, you get me on here starting to talk about all that crap, you guys. I'm just saying. Heard you like romance and rough sex. Um, but uh, you know somebody that is exactly basically the way you are. Um, and you're about to basically make a, make a move towards this person. Uh, romance and rough sex, man. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Just saying. Um, but you're about to make, you're about to make moves for, in all seriousness, you're about to make moves for this person. And absolutely, yeah, um, I heard you're very loyal. 
but this person is very loyal too and you know this person is um so those are those are wonderful well some people don't like rough sex um especially some females don't like rough sex um, but you're masculine, and I'm going to shuffle out while we're talking about this. You're masculine, but you know this female likes rough sex. You know they do. Um, so it's not anyone you they have ever been with. But they do know this. Okay, I heard it's not anyone they've ever been with, but they do know this. So, air side masculine, it's not anyone you've ever been with, been with. So, I think it's not any, it's someone you've never dated or someone you've never had sex with. Well, if you dated them, I'm sure you probably have. I've never dated anybody I hadn't had sex with. I mean, do people date people and not have sex? I, I, I mean, I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some do. But I've never dated anybody I've never had sex with is what I'm in all seriousness. So I don't think it's somebody you dated is what I'm trying to say. I don't think it's somebody you dated. I don't think it's somebody you dated, but it is somebody you know, um, if that makes sense. So it's somebody you know, but it's no, it's, you've never dated them. You have never, I don't feel you've ever dated them. Um, I strongly don't feel you've never dated them. Yeah, masculine. Now, I feel the first message could go could go for masculine and fems, air signs, but this is a particular masculine energy I'm drawing in, in here. Um, you like rough sex and romance, and you know it's either a masculine or a femme that you're interested in, masculine air sign, um, but you've never been with them. You've never dated them, and you've definitely never had sex with them. That's for sure. Okay, and that one pops out again. Spirit messages you have like well, okay. Spirit messages you have reflected. Wow. Y'all, maybe somebody's nervous about doing this. Or maybe they're trying to still get their life in order because the cards just keep um, coming out like crazy. Spirit messages you have reflected. Oh my God. Spirit messages you have reflected. Rough sex and romance, man. That that's that's something. Okay, I just heard tea leaves just now. Tea leaves. Okay, so we have acts and mask, separation, silent treatment, and then mask, not showing true feelings, hidden, pretend, deluding. Okay. So, I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking before I get out the tea leaves. Now, we're drawing in air sign energy very strong. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you can mean masculine or femme, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, if this resonates with you. But the end portion of that was for that one, um, at least one Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine energy in the universe. He likes rough sex and romance, and he's very loyal, and he knows either a masculine or a femme in his life that is exactly like him. And he's making huge strides in the universe to get his stuff together, basically, to be on the same level, I'm feeling, to ask this person out. So they would be like on equal playing field, or he feels he has enough to bring to the table to either you, masculine air sign, or somebody you're connected to this masculine air sign, to ask this person out. And that's very smart. That's smart, 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 smart. That's smart. That's, I mean, that's smart as hell, masculine air sign, just saying. You go through bad self. So, I feel this can, energy can go for both. Both situations, the masculine or the femme air sign. However, this resonates for you if you are the masculine or femme air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. With Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your sun, moon, rising, Venus. North, moon, moon, Jupiter. I feel you were single or you were separated or you are divorced. Well, that's single. So, you're either separated or you're single. 
However that resonates. Kids or no, no kids. Here's what I'm feeling. I'm thinking the axe coupled with the uh, mask. I'm thinking you are um, hiding your feelings from this person. That's exactly what I think. I think you're hiding your feelings from this person right now because you want to get your affairs in order and you want to make sure you have all your ducks in a row and your shits together before you come towards this person so um so y'all can be more compatible so you can have something to offer to bring to the table so you will have your confidence together so you can have romance and rough sex i mean it's not all about sex uh, in a relationship i just want to make that very abundantly clear but I mean, that's part of a relationship in all seriousness. But my point is, is you, I mean, romance, it, I didn't hear just rough sex. I heard romance and rough sex. So I think you care about this person is what I'm trying to say. I think you care about this person, but you don't want to show you care about them right now is what I'm trying to say. Um, that's exactly, that's exactly it. Oh my God. I heard that's exactly it. Oh my God, I heard that's exactly it. So you do, you do care about this person. You do, you care about them, air sign. You care about them, um, but you don't want to show them. So you're axing your feelings right now for them. You're energetically separated from them. You're axed your feelings. I mean, you didn't ax your feelings like in your heart. I think you've axed it energetically. I think this is axing it energetically. Exactly what I think. Um, so you can get your stuff together to come towards them. But that's very smart. That's very smart. And so you're not showing. You're not showing to the world how you really feel about them. And you're definitely not telling them how you really feel about them. Um, as somebody you've never been with before. You've never been with sexually or dated or anything like that. Whoever this resonates with. I just want to make that clear. So it's it for some of you guys, it could be somebody from your past. For some, it doesn't have to be. But it's definitely somebody you've never had sex with before, I'll tell you that, um, for sure. But you're not showing your feelings. You're not showing your true feelings. So it's not an ex. It's not a spouse. It's not a baby mama. It's, it's nothing like that. It's some, a new person. Um, but you're not showing your, showing your feelings. You're poker facing it, basically. I think I might title this poker face. Um, I do. I think you're poker facing it. But you're doing it for strategic reasons. Holy crap. I was doing sign readings and then I got this friggin' channeled in. Spirit messages you have for the collective. I mean, yeah, for the collective. Bear dog barking. Okay, yeah. Oh my God. Remember, I, I was telling you earlier in here that I thought that um, you um, you were getting your stuff, your shit together, your stuff together to come towards this person. Um, I think it's money issues. They are danger, especially money matters. I think you're you're having money issues right now, and you want to get your money up before you come towards this person because I think this person is abundant. Is exactly what I think. This air sign knows this person is a great manifester, and they are. They want to feel like they have enough. Okay, well, that's very smart, air sign, masculine or femme air sign. We're all about an air sign in here. Um, I heard it's very smart. So, you know the person you're going to go to, whether it's a masculine or a femme, you have to plug this person in your life how they fit, is a great manifester. I think a great money manifester is exactly what I think. Now, they could be a great manifester in other ways. They could be great socializer. They could be um, a master manipulator. I don't feel they are. I don't feel they are. I don't from the messages. You said they were loyal and um, like romance and rough sex, just like you. So those kind of people usually are not master manipulators because they will usually speak out exactly what the hell they want. So I don't feel it's a master manipulator, but I heard... You know they're a great manifester. I think it's a manifester of money is exactly what the hell I think it is. And I think you're having problems in money right now. And you want to get your money up to be on the same 
playing field financially as them. That's exactly what I think. And so you're wearing a false mask and keeping yourself blocked energetically from them um, as best as you can. And, and that's smart. That's smart. I don't think they're a manipulator. I don't. I don't. I think they are a good money manifester. That's exactly what I think. Um, but I think you're having money issues right now because this is your, these, this is your energy all day long in here. Um, but that's why you're staying away from them. But that's smart. That's smart, your sign. It's smart. Um, it's smart. Just so you know. Dog barking, advice from a friend. One of these particular, one of you air signs is about to get a huge up in your money soon. It's going to help your, help this process speed up. Oh, okay. So one of you air signs I heard is going to get a huge up in your money soon. So I don't know if that's a loan. I don't know if it's a loan or a bonus or a settlement or a payout or a, um, some, some kind of increase inheritance. Um, it could be an inheritance. Um, we've got a lot of inheritance energy in here. It could be inheritance. You plug it in how it resonates, but some kind of huge boost financially. Um, hopefully it's not one of those payday loan things. Those things suck, but you plug it in how it resonates, but some kind of increase, huge increase boost in money that's going to speed this process up. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. You're wanting to get your money up so you can, you know, they're a good money manifester. According to the messages, that's what it is. You know, they're a good money manifester and you want to be on the same playing level financially with them. That's exactly what this is. I mean, not all of this, but some of this, if this resonates with you, holy crap. I mean, but that's smart. It's smart. Um, so some of you, uh, I heard at least one of you guys is going to get a huge up. So payout, settlement, bonus, hopefully not a crazy payday long, but everybody has free will. Um, or some other kind of huge boost in financial. Maybe it's a raise. Maybe it's a raise for some of you guys. Maybe it's a payout. Um, I don't know, but some kind of huge boost that's going to speed this process up. So it, yeah, it was about the money, but, um, speed the process up as far as you coming towards this person. I don't, for some, I don't think it's all about the money though. I just want to say that for some of you guys, I do. I think the money is the huge th factor in this, but for some, I think it is other things. I think it might be, you know, um, maybe working out three times a week and making sure your body's right. Maybe it's some getting your skincare routine, go, go and making sure your skin's nice and glowy before you go on a date, ask them on a day. Maybe for some it's, um, other things, but I don't think it's all about the money is what I'm trying to say. Um, for one particular person it is, but for others, you guys, I think it is other things um, that you want to work on before you go towards this person is what I'm trying to say. If that makes sense. Dog barking, advice from a friend. An air sign is about to get huge advice on this situation from someone they never thought they would. Okay. Heard of air signs about to get huge advice on this situation um, by someone they never thought they would. So advice from a friend, um, it's advice from someone you never thought you would get it from. Um, it's regarding this person you want to come towards that likes romance and um, rough sex just like you. Um, and they're very loyal, just like you, apparently. Um, however, that resonates in your life, your son. And it's someone you've never been with before. Um, now, if the romance and rough sex doesn't resonate with you, message don't resonate with you, you know, you only take the messages that resonate with you guys. Just saying, just saying. If some messages resonate in here, you take them. Um, if they all resonate, you take them. But I just want to make that clear. It's a free general message. So you, it's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest, okay? But somebody likes some romance and rough sex up in here, I'll tell you that. But at least one of you guys is about to get a message, uh, I'm sorry, advice from someone you never thought you would get it from regarding the situation with this person you want to come towards. So for some, I feel it could be an ex of this person because I heard it's someone you never thought would give you the advice. So for some, I think it might be a freaking ex of this person that's about to give you the advice. For some, it might be a family member. 
Um, for some, it might be a coworker or one of their coworkers or um, someone that they have known in the past, possibly for some. You plug it in how it resonates, but it's someone that you never thought would give you advice on this situation regarding this person. They're about to. And for some, it's going to be very, very helpful. And for some, it's going to be very, very helpful. So for some of you guys, the advice is going to be very helpful. Of course, use your best discernment, logic, and reasoning. You guys, if you your intuition is off about the advice this person or people give you on this person, you have to use your best logic and intuition on it too. Um, some people give false advice to try to throw people off and to get them not to go towards people. So you have to be the decider factor on that on the end. Yes, they can give you the advice till the cows come home, but are you going to take it and listen or not? That is on you. I just want to let everybody know, okay? You are the decider factor of whether you take the advice or whether you don't. I mean, just let you know, okay? Because everybody has free will. So you can choose to listen to this person or not. If you feel something is funny or weird off on it, you know, that would be on you because you it, that is your intuition, not my intuition, not anybody else's intuition. But I would definitely suggest using your best intuition and logic on the advice. Because some people have genuine, true intentions on helping and some do not. And that's just the truth. And I heard it was from someone you never thought it would give it to you. So for some, it might be manipulation, possibly. And I hate to say that, but everybody, there's a millions of doings of people in the world. So it's that's why it's important to use your best intuition on what they say to you and how they say to you and who this person is connected to this person you want to go towards. That's what I'm feeling on this. But you plug it in how it resonates. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys. I'm getting off of here. I'm going to um, start some more readings, okay? Um, I've got Paps and Aquarius done for week three. Love you guys. Namaste.